Here's the reverse, and O'Keefe again, spinning to the near side. And Ryan O'Keefe keeps his feet out of a tackle, and it's a race now! They say big things come in small packages, right? In Ryan O'Keefe's case, big plays. Keen, again O'Keefe, couple of blockers in front, and O'Keefe will score! I may be sore, but I don't let that stop me from doing nothing. I'm fast, you know, and I'm, I'm really I'm really physical. Like, a lot of people wouldn't expect that, but I'm trying to hit somebody for real. He knows where he's going. The ultimate goal, like I said, is to make it to the NFL. Most important, he knows where he comes from. I think about it all the time just because, you know, I'm blessed to be in a position I am today. Like, this could have turned out in many different ways. Big things may come in small packages for Ryan O'Keefe. Oh, look at his little feet. He's so cute. Blessings come from humble beginnings. There he is, looking bright-eyed. Right here is when we first brought him home. Ryan was surrendered by his birth parents at just two days old. It was made legal under Texas's then newly passed safe haven laws. It allows parents who are unable to care for their newborns to leave them in a designated place. Our social worker called and said, there's a baby that needs a mom and dad, and he's at the NICU at Brackenridge would you like to um, come and meet him? And we're like, yeah, we'll come meet him. That day, Michael and Donna O'Keefe's family grew to three. Ryan made his introduction pretty well known. I hear this loud scream <laughs> and there's millions of kids in there, little kids, you wouldn't believe how many. But Tiny walked babies. in and I said, man, I just, hopefully that's not him. Well, guess what? Yes, it was. <laughs> it was him. A natural fit from the start. We felt like they were all, like they gave birth to us literally just because how much they loved us and they just always taught us like even though we didn't give birth to y'all, we love y'all the same. Yes, we. Why do I look so scared? So what? I look so scared. Look at me. Just 20 months later, Michael and Donna adopted James, Ryan's biological younger brother. It's really great to have people who just didn't see color and they didn't care about any of that. They were just like, this is a child who who needs us and we're gonna give them we're gonna give them everything we can and hope for the best parents who gave brothers a chance it meant a lot to me that we didn't get separated um and i had such a uh, idol to look up to growing up i feel like us two worst the world so you know it's been a blessing just watch him grow as a person too brothers who made a family whole it just makes me really really happy because i can't imagine them being anywhere else i just I can't imagine it. It's been like a roller coaster. <laughs> okay. uh, I don't like roller coasters, but this is fun. And that's all I can say, and it's not over. Keith goes in motion, gets weak, far side, edge, okay. Touchdown, nice! Well, that would look pretty easy for number four. Big things are, in fact, coming for Ryan and Keith. Whatever happens, just know it's a package deal. Nobody got left behind. Everybody's still together. Nobody left anybody. We're tight, and we all love each other, and that's never going to change. In Lake Nona, Lou Ketrick, Spectrum Sports 360.